do you know about Sable International? Let's see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions. Or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. Might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. I'm hanging in there. I was praying. Thanks. I appreciate it. I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. Pete, your aunt works too hard. Tell her to take the day off. I don't feel safe anymore. Peter, take it from me. You need to see someone if you start having PTSD symptoms. I'm okay, but I promise I will. I could really use a muffin. A blueberry muffin. City Hall for the bombing. You okay? I'm just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. I had powers. I wouldn't fight crime, I'll tell you that. I'd be a TV star. Uh, I'd be a pro wrestler. <laughs> Best gimmick ever.
Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. journal a key I wonder where the lock is Lee did so much for New York I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Older MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more.
police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Okay, through the floor grate. Get out of here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Let me get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool, see ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Hey, Pete. 
So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Even better than duct tape. Got it. Call me the Amazing Spider Plumber. Et voila! All fixed. Just in time. Last one. But those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Yeah, that... Now I ask. How many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped a public utility meltdown. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Pigeon alert. No, there it goes! Pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
sure will, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again, but this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, D don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of... Changing the world, just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Like your shoes. Over here. All units. Officers are in pursuit like, of mass terrorists something? with a bomb. Report came in from Clinton. Over. Today is a day for somber, for mourning, honoring fallen heroes like Jefferson Davis. It's also a day to vow never again. It stops here. So 
Some people say I blame everything on Spider. -Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bomb. That cowardly act. If we're gonna keep New York safe, we can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider Man and his ilk represent. This is our city. By God, we're gonna take it back. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Let's see. Good. Looks good. Looks like I need to recalibrate. Good. Gotta get it under three milliseconds.
Hmm. Let's see. Looks good. It's working! Everything's stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> this is stable control. Need a report of the situation north of Housen. Control. Rooftop outpost under fire for Steven. Cool window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on. I know I did your job for you, but no need to pay me. Action is my reward. This is stable control. Need a report of the situation north of Houston. Traffic control point Charlie taking fire from demons. Hey, can we solve this piece please I brought you cupcakes? my biggest fan. I can't let the demons kill him. A couple more cool outfits and we can start a pro wrestling league. Demons for good. But it was fun. Peter! You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <sighs> MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen.
This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happening. Need to get into that office. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Grave dust, man. All that cash is going Careful. straight into grave dust. You tried any yet? Only samples. The boss is still perfecting the recipe. Got a kick. Hey, here's something to do that. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? <sighs> that guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? It won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. a disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be. Here we go. 
GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again! Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. analyzes hazardous chemicals and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world which <coughs> hopefully they never will oh no someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant and they must have cracked the container because it's leaking from the timestamp on the security cameras it just happened i need to get it back my spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only 
is mini me cleaning up the spills. It's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in the he's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Do you need help? Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. 